Hello. How is everybody doing tonight? Thank you, uh, our wonderful studio audience. Uh, a very intimate setting. It's a small stage. Um, we're going to get started with some introductions really quick. So first we're just going to go with our names. So my name is Norbert Wessels. My name is Bobby Swanson. I'm Michael Painter. <laughs> I'm Lenny Froelich. I'm Max Schaefer. I'm Liz Sodia. I'm Bob Burnquist. I'm Chad Marachka. <laughs> I'm John Antonini. I'm Annie Scott. And we are On The Alright, so Bobby, we already got you guys uh, hip to uh, suggestions and kind of how short form improv works. So without further ado, we are going to start off with a little game we like to call uh, DJs. So um, our D our Singers are going to get up here. We're going to get mic in a second. Mm -hmm. This is all live. We're doing this all live. <laughs> Never waste right, so a minute. Those of you who don't remember or <laughs> Sarah, uh, how this game works is we have two hosts uh, of radio show, okay? And me, Annie, and Johnny are their uh, singing entertainment, unfortunately. So we are going to be singing all the songs for this radio show. For this radio show, and you guys can think of the names. So without further ado, this is DJs. Say action so and we know. Action. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Morning FM Radio. You're listening to Don Barry and the Goose. Oh, don't call me that. Yeah, that's his name, everybody. His legal name is the Goose. He doesn't want anyone to know it. He changed it in fourth grade. It is the Goose. I did. I call, did. You did. You did. Call him that in public. Okay. Call him that in public. Point it out. Okay. I'm focusing too much on the Goose. No, 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 no. We're not focusing enough on the Goose. We got a special Goose we surprise today. Goose surprise. Goose surprise. Oh, I'll kill you if you oh. say it again. All right, I won't say it again. Yeah. And this special goose surprise today comes to us in the form of an acapella group. Oh, yes, it does. And they're traveling all the way from Flint, Michigan. Yes, that's right. What a weird topical place to think about. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. It's like it just popped into my head. Yeah, it's like you didn't even think about it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is this is a special kind of acapella group, and they got a great name sure. because they are the 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 glue travelers and there's three thes before the glue travelers that wasn't a mistake <laughs> you've heard of the blues travelers the blues travelers now try the 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 glue travelers. travelers that's right and not only are they here today to sing you guys a some great songs on your morning commute they've got an album out right now it's a wonderful album and they're going to play us some of their hit new original songs from that album i haven't been able to take it out of my tape deck you still have a tape deck. I do. Wow. Better quality. A lot of people don't know about that. Yeah, yeah. It really gets the, uh, you know, back into the depths of the eardrum. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this first song that I'm looking now uh, off their album is a wonderful, sure. wonderful piece because it is a jazz number. Oh, and you know how much you love jazz. I love jazz. I, I fall asleep to it. I can't live without it. I wake up to it. Really? A little opposite. Yeah, that's why I'm your Don and you're my goose. <laughs> <laughs> so the name of this song is? Grandma's House. Grandma's, Grandma's House. Grandma's House. Grandma's House. What a, just a wonderful jazz classic, mm. Grandma's House. So without further ado, let's take a listen. I'm going to Grandma's house. She has the best cookies. I, 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 I'm going to Grandma's house. She has milk. <laughs> Don, Don! <laughs> you fell asleep there! The so jazz music puts me to sleep. It just always puts you to sleep. Yeah. I can't sleep without it. I already said that, I thought. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what a wonderful song that was for the moments where I was awake. Exactly. And it's, it really embodies the jazz, the lyrics. Yeah, think about the lyrics. Think about, I'm going to Grandma's house. You could think, oh, that just means they're going to Grandma's house. Not but what it means. No. It's Not much it deeper than me. It's that. much deeper about it. It talks really kind about to the human condition. It does. Mm -hmm. And are we here alone? Are we with our grandmas? Are we drinking milk? Where's our house? I don't know. <laughs> Neither do I. That's why we're going to grandma's. That's right. Well, I love that song, but I think this next song is one of your favorite genres oh of music. Oh my goodness gracious. Bluegrass music. Bluegrass music. With a twinge mm -hmm. of classical singing. Ah. So you're talking about a little, some down home, slapping the banjo, 
bluegrass folk tune. Sure. With oh. a, a, a what were we saying? A, a bit of classical, classical singing. Oh. Classical singing, that is. Oh. I feel like those two genres would never mix. But they do here. Oh. And they do a damn good job. Oh, that. well, that is that has remained to be seen or heard. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a listen to the name. The name of this song is. Eggplant. 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 The bluegrass <laughs> classical music song. Let's take a listen. Ding, 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 ding. I think some of my favorite parts about that song, one uh, was the vibrato, because I, the, you know that shows a lot of really good classical training. The second part is at the end how they just said the word eggplant. Eggplant, for a good just, five yeah, seconds. Like five seconds of no music. I'm pretty sure there was like three words yeah, in that whole entire song. Yeah, just saying eggplant. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Wonderful. But what do we know about music, huh? Uh, nothing. <laughs> exactly. That's why we're behind the desk. Yeah, we're radio DJs. Exactly. <laughs> nothing about music. But if I know anything about anything, I know that I love this next song. Oh, this next song is a good one. This is what got this group started. Yes, it was their big smash hit that landed them uh, a, a spot on the new hit film, Wash Me, a documentary about uh, laund laundromats. Yeah. yeah, and just the different people that go in there. You were in that documentary. I was in the documentary. Yeah, you were. Are you plugging, Are you plugging, plugging a little bit? <laughs> I'm plugging them a little bit. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I can't wait to listen to this next punk rock song that got them Yes, a punk rock hit. It's a smash hit. Everyone's gonna love it when they hit it. Funny enough, th though, as it was in the Wash Me documentary, it has nothing to do with washed laundromats or washing no, it's not. or water, anything like that. It's completely different than that because this punk rock song is entitled. Redheaded Snapchat. I thought I heard redheaded stepchild. I thought That's what I, I said. heard redheaded stepchild. Yes. <laughs> Oh, sorry, did I say here? I meant red, because <laughs> I'm reading the names. So let's go with Red-Headed Stepchild. Red-Headed Stepchild, this wonderful punk rock. That gets not offensive at any point. It doesn't get offensive at all, because we are on the radio. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and let's take a listen. <laughs> Just married my dad. That means nothing. Nothing. I have red hair. They don't understand. I'm in the cafeteria at school. I walk down the hallway right by Karen. She sees me and she's like, hey, you a fool. It hurts. You're not my mom. You're not my mom. You're not my mom. I said, you're not my mom. You're not my mom. <laughs> wow, that was wonderful. That was wonderful. Yay! Thank you. This, this next game is called Good, Bad, Worst. So we're going to have Annie, Lenny, uh, and the great and powerful Max up here to play this next game. So what we have going on right here is we have a, our wonderful panel, uh, uh, good, bad, and worse are here to answer any questions uh, that you have. Uh, they're all uh, learned in various aspects of the world, um, all book read, learned individuals. So um, if anyone has any sort of question, something that's been on their mind, something that they've been thinking about, maybe a conundrum that they're in, something that they would like an answer to, at any point just raise your hand and raise your hand and I'll, and I'll uh, go to our panel here. It's a, you know, yes, you in the, in the back. Why does toast never toast correctly? Mm. Why does toast never toast correctly? Uh, Mr. Good, if you uh, wouldn't mind. 
Hi, excuse me, sweetie, what's your name? Vicky. Oh, Vicky. Okay, you know, I have problems with my toasters too. Isn't it just the worst? You know, you wake up in the morning, you're trying to make a, a egg McMuffin in, in your toaster, and then it just doesn't, it just doesn't toast right. And honestly, I think it has to do with, uh, you know, the circuits in your toaster. You should really get it checked out once a year. Um, you know, you can get a professional to come in, and he'll, he'll take care of it. All right, wonderful. That what a good answer, um, uh, Miss Bab. Why don't you, why don't you give it a whack? Sweetheart, did your bread ever ask to be toast? <laughs> ever asked yourself that? Maybe your bread's, maybe your bread's arguing with the, with the toaster, and it says, "Ah, eh, not today, not this morning." <laughs> so maybe eat, eat bread in the morning. Eat bread in the morning. Eat wonderful. Bread in the morning. Wonderful, wonderful. And uh, Dr. Worst, uh, uh, what is yours? Thank you. Um, Victoria, was it? <laughs> yes, well, the thing is, as you probably will not have known, man was not meant to be confined to four walls, all right? Mm -hmm. You should not be making that toast in a house. You should go out, live in the woods for a few weeks, <laughs> learn how to construct a fire, and make your toast. The toast will come from the ground from which it was made, all right? It will be seared in the hard work of your working hands. And then, that toast will truly find itself. <laughs> Uh, absolutely inspired, Dr. Worst, as always. Um, can I get, uh, does anyone have another question? Anything, it'd be anything. Yes, you, sir. Why is the sky blue? Why is the sky blue? An age-old question. Um, Mr. Good, uh, would you like to answer the question? Are you a dreamer? Because <laughs> I look at the sky, and I just see a world of opportunities. And I just think about, you know, why, why is the sky blue? And the real answer, I don't know. Um, it could be for, because of the sun maybe the atmosphere, but I just love how enthusiastic you are about the atmosphere. And that's great. You keep it up. You keep it up. That's great. I like that. Thank you, Mr. Good. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Good. Uh, Miss Bat, I, I believe that you have an answer to this question. I believe that the sky is blue because the world is crying. <laughs> no, 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 Miss Bat. It's, it's not a joke, you see. The world is crying and the skies is blue. Because, because we're killing it, okay? Isn't it 70 degrees in February? That's all I'm saying. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful, Miss Bad. Uh, Dr. Worst, uh, do you have an answer to the why, why is the sky blue? Oh, 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 please, you do not need to restate the question, I know. Now, <laughs> could I get your name again? Dan. Dan, Dan, that is a wonderful question. As most people know, we perceive the color blue as light of... 440 nanometers going into our eyes. You, however, Dan, are quite a sick human being. <laughs> what you may perceive as blue is what the rest of the healthy world here would call green. <laughs> I would personally go see a doctor, not me, I, I'm, a, I'm a psychologist myself, but I would go get your eyes, um, Remove, that's the word, from your head <laughs> and have them replaced immediately so you can truly envision the color blue. Thank you. Get some healthy eyes in. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Dr. Worst. Uh, we have time for one more question. Who has a question? Yes, you, sir. Uh, why does my roommate smell bad? Uh, <laughs> why does my roommate smell bad? Um, Mr. Good, would you mind uh, gracing us with the first answer? Yeah, sure. Uh, what's your name, sir? Uh, Luke. Luke. That's a great shirt you got on. Thank, thank Are you a slew fan? Uh, can, we know, get a, can we get a close-up of that shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get a, a close-up of his beautiful face in that, in that shirt he's wearing. What a good color. Now, was it, your, it was your roommate you were talking about? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've had that problem before, I'll tell ya. You know, I would just go up to him, uh, you know, hold his hands for comfort and just tell him he smells really, really bad. And go take a shower or something. And that's, that's the best way to do it. There you go. All right, and uh, Miss Bad, what would your uh, answer be? Is he always kind of running around? <laughs> yeah. Kind of running around the room, <laughs> smelling it up with his stinkers. <laughs> Tell him to stop doing that. <laughs> if he stops running around the room, he's not going to stink it up. <laughs> That's why. <what> I do. <laughs> <laughs> no more running around the room. <laughs> uh, it is That's that. Um, do uh, Dr. Worst, if you wouldn't mind. Ah, uh, yes. Um, Lucas, was it? 
shirt. <laughs> <laughs> could could you just so I can fully grasp the the issue at hand? Could now smells is a very broad term. Could you give us the the let's say particular odor your roommate may emit? <laughs> yeah. So imagine like you're walking on a very warm summer day. Oh, I've been there. And uh, <laughs> you're walking through a field of horses. Oh! Um, that's that's about the smell. And one of them is just the one in front of you is just defecating in front of you. That's the smell. And and you say your roommate runs around the room. Yes. 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 <laughs> Sir, what I am about to propose may not be seen as realistic, but is it at any point possible that your roommate may be a horse? <laughs> I if never. so, is walking on two legs and must be put down. Thank you. All right, thank you. That's that's all the time we have for our panel. Why don't we give a round of applause? Thank you. thank you guys. Thank you so much. All right, guys. As we're playing these chairs out of here, this next game we're going to be playing is called Chain Murder Mystery. Uh, so what we need next is an audience volunteer. So does anyone want to be a part of the next game? Come on. You know you want to. Yes. Oh my God. Brooke, this is Brooke, guys. Brooke is going to be part of this next game. It's how this game is going to work. Brooke, you're going to go over with our okay. improvisers real quick. So Chain Murder Mystery works like this. Uh, our improvisers are going to leave the room. There's going to be a dead body on the floor in here. Something terrible happened. We have to figure out what happened. The only problem is nobody can use English at all. So they're going to use gibberish and try to charade their way into explaining what the heck happened in here. Okay? And Brooke is going to be our final guesser, and if she is close to the truth, then she wins. So there you go. So without further ado, uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, who was the person uh, that was murdered? Dr. Dan. Dr. Dan. Oh, wow. No, Doc I like him. I like him. We're going to be sad. Dr. Dan. Dr. Dan. <laughs> Dr. Former Dan. University of Dayton president. No love lost there, apparently. Uh, where Where was he murdered? Bibi Bop. Bibi Bop. Bibi Bop. This is an Asian food yeah. place? Yeah. 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 Okay. Bibi yeah. Bop. And uh, how was he unfortunately murdered at Bibi Bop? A falling crane. A falling crane. So crane as in bird or crane as in crane? crane as in oh, I was thinking crane, but the bird. bird. Okay, yeah. So Dr. Dan, Dr. Dan was murdered at a Asian restaurant called Bibi Bop by a falling crane. All right. Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Squabbin'tin! Skimpin'tin! Goobble oh. slammin' doobble! Stalk! Sigabob! Sam! Dickam! Bam! Osba! Okay! Sam and Dean! Bon! Bam! Shaw! 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 I said, but gobble double dub. Ah, ba ba da ba ba. No! I gobble down, Shoo, shoo, shoo. I gobble down. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Shoo, shoo. I said, ah! Shoo, shoo. Who? ちょぼちょぼあばおおそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそ
You weren't there! <laughs> so, that's a double, I was a double, I was a double, double. what? Ba-bap? As a bap? Shoo ba da a ba boom guava da a ba da guava da da ba I guess to evil okay, Davo. Remember the map? I'll give it to evil did to give. I will give it to evil. Shabba da bo. I'll give it to evil. Shabba da bo. Shabba da bo. Oh. Shabba da da. 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 Okay. Yeah. Got but shubadoo. Abo. Not shubadoo. Shubadoo. Abo. 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 An e e on. Shoo shoo shoo. Shoo shoo. Abo abo abo. Let's get devil. Let's go. Oh, but the gobble. Abo's a temple. Abos to table to do but abba. Osuma? As the baguma de laba. Abos to do but a babadu. Abos to dabadu and bababadu. Abos to. Hey, a babadu. I said to my mom. Transformers. I'm not 
して。ダメですよ。ああ、開けてば。ああ、ですと、グッドアバニュー。はあ、開けずに。ああ、さあ、開けずに。ああ、さあ、開けずに。ああ、さあ、開けずに。ああ、あ、じゃだあんま。あ、あ、あめ、あめ、うん。あめ、あばば。しゃば、しゃば、しゃば、しゃば。ああ、ああ。あ、少しやら、あだ。あでん、あだ。
a deja a a chish dush dia a This is die da da Bajda and Asha does the uh So, who do you think got killed? Who do I think got killed? Yes. Oh. Um, I mean, everyone was laying on the floor. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> who is it specifically, though? Like, not like of these people, like, what character got yeah. killed? Like, a basketball player? Okay. And where did they get killed? Um, at Chipotle or BB Bob. <laughs> okay. And uh, how'd they get killed? What, what killed them? I. Not gonna lie, I don't ah. know the last one. All right. Uh, Max, what do you think happened? So, I, I will admit, I'm not fluent in UD basketball, but I thought someone on the team got killed. Yeah. Okay. And then I thought it was in a Piata. Okay. And then they got... <laughs> Piata. They, and, and they, I thought, I kind of thought they got killed by a crane. But, yeah. ah. All right. And Norm? I see, I thought, I think it was a UD basketball player as well. Again, I am also not versed in <laughs> right. basketball players. Yes. Um... And then I thought it was in a Chipotle, or a BB. I did think it was. I thought it was a BB Bob actually, but like I wasn't sure. Okay. And then uh, it was uh, I the crane part. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the crane. And uh, now what actually happened? Okay, so it was Doctor Dan. Oh, <laughs> oh that was not a good <laughs> So many other things to show. So <laughs> All right, and then he was killed at a BB Bob yeah. uh, by a crane. Oh, all right. <laughs> Appreciate it. This game that we're going to do, thanks. Hot crowd. Hot crowd. <laughs> um, this game that we're about to do is called Calvin Ball. So the way that this game works, uh, we got Lenny, Johnny, and Chad up here. They're going to be doing a scene based off a suggestion that you guys give. Um, although at any point in the scene, any of the on-the-fly improvisers can stop the scene and add our own rules, much like the game from Calvin and Hobbes, the acclaimed Sunday comic. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, without further ado, why don't you guys get your suggestion? Where's a place that we all work together? Chick fil A. Chick fil A. Chick -fil -A. <laughs> Seems to be what everyone wants. Chick fil A. Chick -fil -A. All right. Dude, I can and, pay for this. And Chick fil A and action. Sister Nancy, you gotta get those burgers in, I mean, those, those chickens in nice and hot, all right? I'll get them nice and hot, don't you worry. I'm Sister Nancy. <laughs> you heard that, brother? Get yeah. those french fries nice and fried. No, yeah, I know that. Brother me and you Steve, are... <laughs> get them nice and hot. Freeze! <laughs> Johnny, Sister Nancy, you are an Irish nun. Chet, Father Steve, you are also an Irish priest. Continue. I was so happy when they told us we're going to take over the Chick fil A for the children. Us Catholic people <laughs> gotta help the kids get the chicken. Hey, Sister Nancy, come to us! Don't use the God's name in vain, young child. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We got Sundays off to take the day off, okay, <laughs> sister, father. I know. Let's let's go. Let's get to work. We're doing the Lord's work. Giving the kids Chick Fil A. I believe the devil is in that child, sister. I believe it is too. Freeze, Johnny. You're slowly shrinking. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Steve, I have called in an exorcist. Wait. Oh wait. Yo, no, you're the exorcist. Yes. Oh, I just forgot. <laughs> now, I need you to perform the exorcist on that guy, uh, so that's Hey, that's Lenny, the devil's actually in that chicken sandwich you're making. <laughs> Don't listen to him. If he says the devil's in the chicken sandwich. <laughs> I will not. He I says that. Not. He's gonna Freeze. try to do that. Every time you say something, Chad, you have to say boom shakalaka. <laughs> <laughs> I will not do that, boom shakalaka. <laughs> All right, let's get it started. Hey, Sister Nancy, try this, try this new sandwich Freeze. I made. Okay, everything is off, but now you guys have to talk like 1940s baseball announcers. <laughs> and action. And we're back here at Chick-fil-A, and today we're going to do an exorcism on this guy because he's the devil. <laughs> oh, what a day, what a day. Get, the, get this guy out of me right now. <laughs>
that's a swing and a miss, am I right? Or is it a hit? Everybody, <laughs> <laughs> right, everybody, right, 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 oh, one, the Jesus is your Lord and Savior. And a oh, two, two three. Three. Every time you make a baseball pun, you'll have to do that stupid nasally laugh. Action. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. And, and a three. three. So me and Michael are going to be doing a scene. Uh, at any point during the scene, we're going to pull little notes with catchphrases out of our back pocket. And we have never seen what is on these note cards before. Uh, our fellow members on the fly uh, could, are most likely going to screw us over. So this is going to be a lot of fun. So before we get started, can you guys just get us a suggestion for how me and Michael know each other? Doctor patient. Dr. Patient. Perfect. Thank you very much. And Dr. Dr. Patient, and we can cut that out, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Patient and action. Uh, oh. I like Mr. to bring my own clipboard. Yeah, Mr. Davis. You're gonna, <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you don't need to bring your, I'll take the clipboard. I'll take the clipboard. Thank you. Did you get in the lobby? Did you get in the lobby? Yeah, I got to tell Karen to stop handing out clipboards. You just need the forms. It's fine. You know what? Why don't you just stand over there for a second? Uh, put your pants back on. That'd be really helpful. I really appreciate that. No cough? Uh, no cough. Not today, buddy. Not today. Uh, so, a couple questions. Uh, just to get us started, I know you already answered them on the forum, so yeah. I just want to make things formal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, are you married or single? Um, yeah. I'm, yeah. Both. Yeah. <laughs> I won't tell your wife. Okay. Uh, uh, my next question would have to be, uh, uh, he's my top friend on MySpace. <laughs> Jerry? I've... Jerry, yes. Yeah, yeah, I just Jerry wanted to let you know yes. that your best friend is now my top best friend on MySpace. Okay. So. You still use MySpace? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, my one post got, like, viral on there. Your one post? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. What did it say? It said, um... It said, I use my chest hair as floss most times. <laughs> Your chest floss? Yeah, yeah. Your chest floss 290? Oh my god, man. That is amazing. That is amazing. Yeah. Okay, I gotta put the clipboard down. I'm so okay. excited. This is unbelievable. Yeah. Chest floss 290. I've been trying to meet you since 2004, man. This is unbelievable. I'm so honored. Yeah. Yeah. You look, you've been my patient for like sweat seven years. Yeah. This is crazy. Yeah. You know, the first time I met you, it's so ironic because was, I knew there was something special about you. The first time you came in for a checkup, you know what I said? What'd you say? I, said I turned to the nurse. I turned to the nurse and I said, Let's love. <laughs> right? But after, after I started stopped flirting with the nurse, you know what else I said to her? What did you say? I said I said about you. Yeah. I said I was like this is really important. You need to listen. She's like, yeah. What? What is it? And I'm like, guess what? Bark, 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 bark. <laughs> That's crazy. Cause do you know what she said to me after you said what? that to her? What? She said, how many cats fit in there? <laughs> right? Yeah. The answer is twelve. I wear big shirts. Yeah. I wear big shirts. Um, so I know you're fan. Um, so can I ask you a favor? Mm -hmm. So you know Nancy? Yes. Yeah. Um, I just need you to do something. Just tell her something for me. Okay. Okay. Just, once I met her, I just there's just one thing I've been wanting. Okay. To you say. just met her in the lobby. She's yeah. next in. So. All right. Yeah. Just tell her. Um, audio and video recording are prohibited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. I like it private. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This is my office. Yeah. Just to be clear. <laughs> this is my office. You're not taping me, right? No. <laughs> Why? No. What? I would never do. What? No. I would never do that. What's this? I'm just leaning on this painting. There's definitely not anything inside of this painting. So, uh, anyways, to change the subject, yeah. I uh, I put my hot sauce in the freezer and it's cold sauce. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, you know, just shooting the breeze, man. Just feeling you into what I'm into because I'm yeah. a doctor. It's good. Cold sauce is healthier. Speaking of which, can we get back to checking me up? Yeah, of course. Okay, Sorry. so lately, yes. like, my leg's been feeling, it's just been feeling like, um, wow, that's orange. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we call that Trump-itis. That's <laughs> a lot of that, a lot of that lately. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, if there were people here, they might, ooh, I don't know why, because it's a medical term. Yeah. But, yeah. Another thing, like, the, you know what the perfect medicine for that is? What? The perfect medicine is, uh, when you just go and you just, like, look in the mirror mm -hmm. and you say, who ate the last avocado? <laughs> Okay, it's a metaphor. Yeah. All right, it's a metaphor. Right? Yeah. Just look, at, go ahead, just look in the mirror. Just look okay. in the mirror. I want you to say it. Go ahead. Who ate the last avocado? That's mm -hmm. yeah. what you said. All right. That's what I like to hear. Okay, that's, that's not quite not what, what I said, told no. you. All right, you're right, that's fine. Scene, scene, scene. All right, this next game is for Max and I, and it's going to be called New.
choice, and we'll be doing a scene, and anytime Norb says, new choice, we have to replace what we're doing. So if I said, hi. New choice. Hello. Yeah, that's a good, good replacement. Yeah, exactly. ah, that's a good replacement for hi. Yeah. Um, all right, so can we get a suggestion for how we know each other? Ooh. Relationship. Bless you. <laughs> Ooh, you look like you got a suggestion. <laughs> No, you don't. All right. <laughs> well, wow. Um, all right. What did I just pull out of my pocket? What? A pickle. Pickle. There pickle. We go. All, right. all right. Pickle. And action. All right. All right. So now we just wait like eight hours. New choice. Now we just wait like until our children find them, <laughs> and these cucumbers will be pickles. <laughs> Oh, Greg, you know, I thought uh, thought the flame in our marriage had died, but you're just bringing it back with these pranks. <laughs> I mean, I know little Olivia's only three, but this I think it's about time that she learned not to trust the cucumber. New choice on what it's time for. It is time for her to learn that she'd be afraid of her father. <laughs> New choice. It is about time that she learned that... Uh, in this family, we don't take anything seriously. <laughs> ooh, 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 that's right. Yeah. Uh, you want another joke? Mm -hmm. I didn't. That's not even brine. It's water. So when we're dead and she finds the fat, there's still going to be cucumbers. Exactly. God. <laughs> Max, new choice on how you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> new choice. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> so yeah, Olivia's going to be woo. Um, I, uh, I actually have something to tell you. Oh? Um, we're expecting a new addition to the family. Oh, dear. <laughs> new choice on your reaction to that, Max. Uh, oh. New choice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, a deer. New choice. <laughs> new choice. <laughs> oh, I know. I got a puppy. Well, that is amazing. <laughs> um, he, he's six weeks old, so we can't bring him home yet, but he only cost me $1,500. Wait, I've got a great name idea. Olivia. That is perfect. I think that'll totally build up our daughter's self-esteem. It's been working so well, let's give it to the dog. <laughs> Honestly, Craig, you just inspire me every day. New oh. choice on what he does for you. Greg, you just make me question all my life choices. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you asked me to marry, me, marry you four years ago, I thought, like, why not? No better prospects, but there was probably some better prospects. Well, you know what I always say? Introspection is the key to happiness. New choice on what you always say. You know what I always say? You know what I always say. New choice. You know what I always say? Hate your husband, love the rest of your New life. Choice. You know what I always say? You're a terrible woman and I New should choice. leave. You know what I always say? Olivia and Olivia would be very happy if you appreciated me more. New choice. You know what I always say? Put cucumbers in water. New choice. You know what I always say? Is that a deer over there? <laughs> you know what I always say. Nothing. <laughs> so, what I love most about you, Greg. I know. <laughs> Honestly, it's, it's the times that we don't speak. We can just be together. In right. Silence. <laughs> New choice on how you enjoy the silence. <laughs> New choice. over the cucumbers. Scene, scene. <laughs> hey, our next game is ABCs for Michael and Chad and I. Yay! Hey! Yay! Uh, so how this game is going to work is that the first letter of the first word that we start our lines with has to go in alphabetical order, so A, B, C, etc. Um, but you guys are going to pick what letter we start with in the alphabet. So can I get a letter? Q. Oh. L. I like that. Lizzie, L. Perfect. All right. Um, should we have another suggestion, too? Yeah. 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 Okay. Go for it. Uh, can you give a suggestion for a um, relationship between all of us? A three-way Tinder date. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. A three-way Tinder date. And we're starting at L. All right. 
Uh, three-way tinder date starting at L and action. Left swipe. <laughs> right swipe. Uh, Matt. Uh, hi, it's, it's Janet. Nice, nice to see you here. Now, I brought <laughs> my brother. <laughs> and I was hoping that's okay. Oh. <laughs> um. You know, I don't really like guys with siblings, <laughs> but, I, but you know what? I'm I'm gonna make an exception. I'm trying to trying to be more open this year. It's my New Year's resolution. Paul. <laughs> so this is this is uh, Natalie, and um, we're going to we're gonna go on a date with her together. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> quite the uh, quite the pair you guys make. I didn't realize. Are you twins? Risky business. <laughs> <laughs> But our mom did it. <laughs> <laughs> She's a lovely lady that uh, just gave it her all and raised two wonderful boys. Uh, totally. So, um, you know, usually ping pong is just for like two players or four players, but I guess we can try it with three. Oh, God. <sighs> uh, <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> I know you're like really into ping pong, and I know. Like, very into ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to play with her one-on-one, -on -one, please, okay? I know I asked you on the stage. I just want to play with her. Exactly how long are you going to take over there, boys? <laughs> you know what? I'm talking to my brother. <laughs> <laughs> so you can wait there, okay? Zzz, like sleeping. Zzz. <laughs> That's what I do whenever I see you play ping pong. Because I just want to go to sleep. All right, you can play. You can play. Just play with Boys, her. you ready? Can you hit the ball? <laughs> Damn it! Hit the ball! <laughs> Everyone's waiting, Paul. For crying out loud. <laughs> hit the ball. You begged me to play ping pong. Girl scare me, man. Girl scare me. Girl scare me. Girl? Me? Scared. <laughs> hey, okay. I get it. I'll play. I'm standing right here. I'm not that scary. See, I... <laughs> just, just don't get close to him. Kill me now, okay? <laughs> Let's just play. Scene, scene. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys. Right. Uh, yep. So, so, oh that, that. <laughs> so, we're getting to our last game of the night. This is called Story, Story, Die. Um, we won't oh. actually be killing anyone, but this is similar. Yeah. So, this game is for everyone except me. Yeah. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get a suggestion from you guys and we're gonna start with one of these improvisers and they're just gonna tell a story. But at any point, I can point to someone else and they have to immediately take up where the other person left off. And if they stutter or do something wrong, they're out. And we're gonna see who's left standing, all right? That. <laughs> so, wins. what is our story about, anyone? Bees. Bees. Yes. Oh. <laughs> All right. Bees. Once upon a time, there was a little bee named Jerome, and Jerome <laughs> flew around in his hive and said, Today is the day I'm going to make honey, and it's going to be the best day in the entire bee world. So he put on his bee pants, and he put on his bee shirt, and he stepped out his bee door and said, Smell them flowers. It is a wonderful day to... Be alive, as a bee that is. He goes to the flowers and just do those things bees do with flowers. You know, your parents told you when you were younger. You know, well, they put the pollen on their butt. So that's what Jerome did. He put the pollen all over his behind, and he moved on to the next flower, which was a rose. And he thought to himself, maybe I should take this back to the hive and give it to my lovely lady friend whose name was Karen. Now, Karen wasn't a bee. She was a bird. <laughs> and they had a little floundering romance going on. He was flying over to her nest. She was flying over to his hive. She was about the size of the hive. She was a large bird. And he'd be like, hey, Karen. And she'd be like, hey, bee. She called him bee. It was like a cute little nickname. It was the cutest nickname he's ever heard. That's why him and Karen, they got along so well. She was just so articulate with her words. Bee. It's as if she knew what he was, what he could be. So, he got the rose, brought it to her nest, and it was like, Karen, I gotta tell you something. I love you. So, he handed her the rose. 
<laughs> yeah, oh, right. Did not know who he was pointing at. <laughs> Get out of here. So he handed her the rose. She took it in her beak, and she was like, Jerome, I can't marry you. For I am a bird, and you are a bee, Jerome. It would never work. What do you think they would say of us? Ah, didn't you ever hear of the birds and the bees? <laughs> it's worked countless times in the history of the world. Haven't you met my friend Frank? He's a great guy. He's also a bee. And he's never been with a bird, and I do everything that Frank does. Last week, Frank had me down at the hot dog shop, and we were just having hot dogs all day long. Everyone was having a blast. Guess what? No birds there, though. <laughs> Keep going. So we say, no birds allowed. That's why this relationship can't last. And the bird didn't like this. She said, I'm breaking up with you, I thought. <laughs> and now you're breaking up with me. I'm so confused. I'm just... Gonna go home to my big sister and tell her all about my troubles. You know what? Birds have feelings too. Just because we have feathers doesn't mean we can't cry. And so the bird actually did cry right after that <laughs> sentence. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't very happy with the bee. And she went to her big sister's house and told her big sister, I am going to eat Jerome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just loved him. But now I'm, I got a taste for some beef. And we're going to go over there, me and you, and I might get the rest of the flock together, and we're going to eat all their bees. <laughs> Karen, Karen thought to herself, you know what? I think we could finally do it. I think we could get rid of all those stinking bees. I hate those guys. So they flocked over there, and all the bees were like, oh, no, they're coming to eat us. How did they know that? They could just tell from the eyes of the, of the birds. They were so angry, and you could just see the laser focus. On their faces, that is, of course. And the birds came in with full force, and they started pecking away. Away and away and away. <laughs> and he got in there, and he said, Oh, no. <laughs> Not again. This happens, like, every single week. End. <laughs> so then Jerome was like, guys, bees, we have to fi finish the job. <laughs> and so we're going to go and we're going to sting all the beards right in their big old bird butts. <laughs> Get out of here. All right, I can take it up. We're going oh. to sting all them birds. Even if it's the end of our life. lives, lives. <laughs> What's gonna happen is we're gonna we're gonna have to get together and form a special formation. We're gonna get into the form of a bird, and we're going to attack as hard as we can attack. As hard as anyone's ever attacked, as far as I'm concerned, said Jerome to himself. <laughs> <laughs> so they got together and they flew over to the birds, and the birds were waiting for this giant bird-like creature. But it's mouth was open. <laughs> and they thought, hmm, a bird wouldn't keep its mouth open like that. I've never seen anything like that. But they flew in just to investigate the beard with the mouth open. <laughs> so they flew in the bird's mouth, and then they realized, hey, hey, oh, 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 oh. and they realized, hey, this ain't no bird. This is just a bunch of bees. Hanging out. They can be hanging out. That's what this is. So they start talking to the bees. Like, hey, what happened to the birds? And the bees. I mean, really, do you even know where we are now? We're in the middle of this giant field. We went so far away from your hive that I can't even tell which way's home. Which way's home, bee? <laughs> so, so, uh, <laughs> which way's home, bees? And they buzzed and they buzzed, but none of them could figure out where they were going or where they were. It was just a complete mystery for all of them and they decided the only way that we're ever gonna get home is if we decide to come together and be friends oh and friends they decided to be <laughs> Zuh, are always great friends that's the saying they go by friends are always they just they're the best things that will ever happen to you and guess what they are the best thing to ever happen to this world <laughs> as far as I'm concerned so the bees settled down right in the middle of that field, and they built a huge hive. Because that's what bees build these days. Just hives on hives on hives. High fives for the hives. <laughs> they usually do after they've completed a successful day of working on the hives. So after every day, they decided to make a tradition. They decided that the next time someone wanted to romance a bird, they would instead go home and think about their decisions in life. And guess what? They got to thinking. And they decided 
why don't we tamp <laughs> with the other guys, the bears? The bears should be in this a whole t team aspect. We make honey, I, I think. Yeah. 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 All right. I think bears like honey, judging by the cartoons that we watched growing up. So they got together with the bears, and the bears said, I have decided that we need more honey. Uh. We're sick of fish, and we think that you could help us out with that. Salmon, trout, other types of fish that you could find in <laughs> local rivers and or lakes. But then... Sam kids for food.